November 11th is the day that Skyrim officially turns 10 years old, and in that time, Bethesda has kept the game alive by giving us new updates, re-releases, and DLCs. Anniversary Edition is the next one in a long line of re-releases, and it brings a couple of new features to liven up the game a little bit. And what is up guys, Andrew from the Den Men here, and recently Bethesda dropped a new trailer explaining a few things we would be seeing, but also left out one major problem. We have a lot of new details to go over, so grab that bottle of hunting brew mead and let's go through all of it in today's video. The biggest thing to come from this new trailer is the lack of a price tag. We have yet to see how much the game will cost, and that is concerning to say the least. If it was something on the lower side, Bethesda would have likely told us by now, but they are holding off with its release being right around the corner. Hopefully, we get it sometime soon, and us not having to find out when Anniversary Edition launches. Special Edition will be getting this free upgrade into what will become Anniversary Edition on November 11th. You will still need to make the full purchase for all of the Creation Club content, but for those who already own Special Edition, there is a little something for you as well. Four new pieces of content will be given to the player with Saints and Seducers, Rare Curios, Survival Mode, and Fishing. Three of these have already been in the Creation Club for some time, with Fishing being the newest to come into the game. Let's just go through all the content that will be coming in the free update starting off with Saints and Seducers. This is considered to be the biggest creation that we have ever seen. It includes a new storyline, new weapons and armor, dungeons, and a lot more. A lot of people have considered Saints and Seducers to be a DLC sized mod and one of the best we have seen from the Creation Club. Rare Curios is the next up and it brings an assortment of unique items to the game. Khajiit merchants will begin to appear all over Skyrim and will bring with them new ingredients to craft, new potions, arrows, and poisons for the devious players out there. You will also be able to find rare alien stones which can be used to fully restore your magicka. When you put Saints and Seducers and Rare Curios together, you get a free DLC on its own. But we are still not done yet. Survival Mode is our next creation, and fans of Fallout 4 will know this one quite well. In a nutshell, it adds extra immersion to Skyrim, like having to stay warm, and you can do this by what type of armor you wear, staying by the fire, or using a torch. The player will also have to keep track of their health, magicka, and stamina with hunger and exhaustion playing a big role. You can combat these effects by eating, drinking, and sleeping in a bed. It really changes the way you will play the game. Things that you never would do in a normal playthrough will just seem normal in survival mode. This really adds an extra layer of immersion for the hardcore fans to enjoy an experience that is different from what to expect in Skyrim. The last one we are getting is brand new with fishing. There will be 20 unique fishes to catch in a variety of different locations. They are able to be cooked, displayed on mounts, or even have an aquarium for them to swim around in. This is a brand new feature for the game, and they are bringing a lot more than just that. We know that there will be some type of quest involved with the creation, whether that be radiant or unique. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a mix of the two with a possibility of having to catch all of the fish and after get a reward for it. Same as if you took on a quest to clear a bandit encampment or slay a dragon. It also looks like there will be some type of unique quest line involved from what we saw in the trailer. Just taking a look at when they were talking about fishing, the new cabin we will be seeing shook and maybe we will have to catch a giant fish to fully master the new feature. It will be interesting to see what direction Bethesda will take it in. Every single one of these will be free for anyone who already owns Special Edition, but we also have the Anniversary Edition to it. This will be the paid portion of the update, and as I said earlier in the video, we are not yet sure of the price. We'll for sure see in the coming days what it will be, so stay tuned for that. There is also speculation on it bringing enhancements to the game, but we have not heard anything on that either. Moving on though, there is a lot of Creation Club content in the actual Anniversary Edition itself. You will be getting all of the ones already out with the new ones on the way as well. 
This will add a lot of content to the game from weapons and armor, quests, and brand new houses. In the trailer, we did see two different creations that would be making an appearance into the game, and they are somewhat of a throwback. The first one we saw is known as Ghosts of the Tribunal, and included in it is a ton of new weapons and armor. Then there is the cause that centers around the Mythic Dawn attempting to form a new Oblivion Gate. This one will include new enemies, locations, and weapons and armor to try out. What makes this one really unique is at the end you will be able to conjure a Daedric horse to ride around the world of Skyrim. These are just two of the new creations, but they are a little nod at Morwen and Oblivion, and that is what makes them so interesting. This is a good start to what we will be seeing in Anniversary Edition as for content, and hopefully the other ones will be just as detailed. What really gets me excited for the update is that we will be getting all the creations at once. When you just have one, it does not seem to be that large, but when you put all of them together from these new quests, enemies, and more, you start to see that it is more of an expansion in total size. If anybody else found it annoying when you downloaded these creations that a quest would instantly begin once you entered the world and they would start to pile up over time, Bethesda has come up with a solution for this. The creations will no longer begin upon startup, instead it will be more organic with the player having to adventure around to find them. This is a great change with them at times being overwhelming, especially if you started a new character and right as you exit Helgen they all began at once. This takes a lot off of the player and will seem more organic instead of it feeling like a checklist you're trying to complete. You will still be able to find out how to start the quest in the Creation Club page so Bethesda is not leaving you to just roam the world with no idea where to go. Anniversary Edition is looking to be good from the Creation Club side of things. From a modding standpoint, it does look like it will wreck a lot of them. Hopefully, modders will be able to change it over to the new version so people can have the best of both worlds. Playing all of the new content will be fun to do, we will just have to wait and see what it is when it comes out. There is still so much that is releasing with Anniversary Edition, so be ready for that. It has been nearly 10 years of Skyrim, and this new update will be the next in a long line for the game. On November 11th of 2021, we will be seeing Anniversary Edition launch with a whole lot of new content to experience. We will just have to wait and see if it is what everyone has been waiting for, but be ready for the next big re-release of Skyrim with Anniversary Edition. But that is all for me now though guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, comment any videos you want to see in the future, and I'll see you all next time!